Okay, now again, I know you really like your trees. Uh, this is that same tree, but um, so if you, if you wanted to re replace this, uh, oh, that was a Kamani, I believe. That's what it looks like, huh? Okay, well, um, I do know where to get some seedlings, but if again, if you want, if you want some, um, if you want to replace it with the same organism, that would be fine. I, I could, I could get us uh, some Kamani trees for free, um, no problem. I've, I've actually got some growing where I'm at. Um, and a couple seedlings in the nursery. Um, or we can go, you know, with replacing this with the, the full size agave sisolanas, you know, because those, those are more inclined to do well in the desert. You know, part, part of the problem is I'm not sure that this was a completely appropriate species. Um, and, you know, we want to be mindful and considerate of that because, you know, as, as the water costs continue to rise in Hawaii, um, we want things that are going to take care of themselves and be self-sustainable uh, in light of all of that. Um, okay, anyway, so, yeah, just, just more more grass. I mean, this whole area is just like, oh my God, let's get this out of here. Uh, and throw down, uh, you know, the, the ground cover, the Ipamoya batatas, that sweet potato that is going to um, never make us have to come in here again. I mean, we're gonna do this once, and it might take two or three other maintenance weedings before it establishes itself and the grass is gone uh, with proper irrigation. But in order to do that effectively, we do need to install a couple more irrigation lines running through here randomly just to keep things wet and get things established. Um, just, just a couple more, you know, a couple hundred feet of this stuff, the, the Driscoll tubing, it's extremely cheap. Um, I think a big huge roll is like a hundred bucks for it's, it's several hundred yards. It's, it's almost inconsequential for what it's paying you back with. Um, this co is doing okay. It has been receiving manual water, but again, it's it's on the uphill uh, from where the source is coming from. And with the pressure problem, it, it is a, a bit of a strain. Um, some things are spindly and dying, but with the growth that I can see right here that's left, we can do some really nice pruning and turn this into a really gorgeous tree. Um, so anyway, something to consider.